गुरुजी स्वामी जी प्लीज गिव मी ए टेक्निक और मेडिसिन फॉर मी टू सर्वाइव लॉन्ग आई वॉन्ट टू लिव लॉन्ग यस आई हैव ट्राई दिस मेडिसिन लाल लाच पेड राय सेट द गवर्नमेंट विच अटैक्स इट्स ओन इनोसेंट सब्जेक्ट्स has no claim to be called a civilized government bear in mind such a government does not survive long lala lajpat rai born in 20 january 1865 died of bullet wounds from the british on 17 november 1928 was an indian or the freedom fighter and politician He played a vital role in the Indian independence movement. He was popularly known as Punjab Kesari. He is also known as Punjab Dash, which literally means the Lion of Punjab. The government which attacks its own innocent subjects, and when he said that one that the government will not last long, he said it will be the last nail in the coffin of the British Raj. And nineteen years later, yes, it happened. British is thrown out. The sun never sets under the British Empire. Lost throughout the left and right of the world. Yes, but like the retreat, you have to go back to treat your family. What was lost in your culture will again happen. Such a family does not survive long. Lala Rajput Rai said, "Bear in mind, such a government does not survive long. I am telling, such a family doesn't survive long, and every family doesn't know that their survival is getting out of control. They are they they are walking without legs, even though they have legs. They are moving moving without hands, even though they have the hands." they have the eyes but they are unable to see and observe they are, have mouths where they have, have many beautiful languages and bookish knowledge but it is all loose motion it is just coming out without any connecting link to the to the truth or reality of experience lala lajpat rai said the government which attacks its own innocent subjects have no claim to be called a civilized government somebody asked me to survey long and i said yes try this method i am giving you this method the government is the family now the government we got the government the family which attacks its own innocent subject its own relatives has no claim to be called a civilized family a family which doesn't sit together eat together pray together it never is called a civilized family the husband which doesn't know how to love the wife wife who doesn't know how to look into the husband's eyes and love him equally husband and wife together create a love child and they do not know how to bring the child and spend time with the child and teach the child the sanskriti and the culture now the materialistic world which made you a slave dragged you with your lies all the glitters is not the gold put you in a pigeon hole offices with air conditioners are teaching you to make your children your friends how come that happen when i was in japan we were in the tokyo guest house and all my friends were rushing up to a japanese beautiful girl which walked into the our tokyo guest house and they were all eyeing at her and all those who went near to her and started touching her she told you are my friend not my boyfriend i am telling you the same dear parents fathers you cannot call your daughter a friend she is not your friend she is your daughter if you call her a friend is she your girlfriend mothers you cannot call your son a friend he is not your boyfriend this is a tricky business which tricked you to break your culture when it is your daughter it is your son you protect you teach them the culture you don't flow with them now you flow with them and they do not know you must understand you have more experience than them and you decide what path you have the power to guide them then you are you can call her as, call him a son or 
she a daughter? The government which attacks its own innocent subjects has no claim to be called a civilized government. The family which attacks its own innocent relatives have no claim to be called a civilized family. Bear in mind such a government does not survive. Bear in mind such a family does not survive long. It is not surviving. It is lost. And we were happy and teaching you. You friends are the best. Don't go back to relatives because they have disconnected you from your relatives. Now you cannot go back to them. They are frightened. If you go back to your relatives, you become strong and you attack the government. No, no, no. Now you are all matured enough. Those days, maybe communities, communities were not listening and small, small civil war breaks up. Now that was different. We got our independence. We got our republic. Now we have to retreat to go back and strengthen our family with love and affection. No complaints and no explain. Don't complain and don't explain. These two will help you to connect back to your family. And then you learn to save and then spend. That is the biggest medicine and technique I would like to teach you to, that you will survive long, beautifully healthy, wealthy and wise. Richness in your heart, richness in the hands and legs, richness in the eyes and ears, priceless. When the beggar went to the king and said, you call it Rama Rajya, I am a beggar, can you see me? And the king said, in my country, nobody is a beggar. Everybody, you are kings equal to me. They are my gods. And the beggar said, don't make fun of me. And the king said, suppose I, I can prove that you have money in, worth in lakhs, priceless. Will you share it with me? And the beggar said, what was it? He said, suppose I offered you for your eyes a lack of rupee. And the beggar said, without eyes, what life? He said, for your hands, I offer you another lack. For your legs, another lack. For your mouth, blah, blah, blah. You're talking, blabbering. Another one like the beggar turned around and ran. And the king said, stop. For your legs, which you're running, I'll give you another lack. Priceless. You will now find all that is back to your position you could see your relatives or you can observe your relatives because they give you the chance not in the friends uh, kitchen in the toilet friends will not allow you in the kitchen and toilet but in your relatives there are a massive amount of you do not fear for a, to find a bride or a bridegroom for your children you do not worry about what food Goes because the family, joint family, the family tree has got 800 years, 1000 years of history of medicine. Let thy food be thy medicine. To survive long, try this method. Go back to your latest. La, 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 the government which attacks its own innocent subjects has no claim to call this civilized government. I am telling the family which attacks its own innocent relatives has no claim to be called a civilized family. Bear in mind, such a government does not survive long. Lala Rajput Rai said, but I said, bear in mind, such a family does not survive long. Means you are dying, like some of you and I said, everybody walking like a dead body. Let us not walk like a dead body. My people are my gods. My people are the richest. They know their price. It is priceless. Let us work together to reunite, reunite back to family. Knit your family.